Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Econobox Garage. In this week's episode, we'll continue with our bug eye build. The main task is to get the floor pan for the passenger side all trimmed up and ready to weld in. The goal this week is to at least start putting the floor pan back on. I'm going to start off with cleaning up uh, this spot over here because I'm going to have to come in with the floor pan all the way up to this edge here at least to about here and then I'll drop down and my plan at the moment uh, I'll just confirm that as we move along is just to flange this area here I will have to put a bit of a patch here as you can see it's welded out so I'll just put in cut up to here and weld it around uh, or with a lip on it and bring come down to there and that should uh, fix that up but uh, before I start doing any cutting or trimming I'm going to get the vacuum out and clean out all this debris out of here out of these cavities and uh, just generally clean things up all right I have my uh, little patch panel made for here and um, we've got it clamped in position so that this this surface here is flush with this surface here and flush with the top side that is uh, part of the original floor pan so the new floor pan will sit on top of this here and uh, butt up against that part there should probably punch these ones here uh, so I can plug weld from the uh, from the top side I'll take that back out punch the new holes and put it back in So there's that patch panel welded in. Um, the welds are okay, I guess. Um, but I'm getting a little bit more confident with uh, with the welder. So it's in there solid. Uh, that one's definitely not going to be seen. And with that in mind, I'll make sure I get uh, some primer and rust inhibitor, encapsulator, whatever you want to call it, in there. And then uh, get some seam sealer up along this edge this top edge here. Well, I'm getting ready to trim things up. I'm going to straighten out this edge here where I've got the tape because that's where I'm going to I'm actually going to flange what's left of the original floor pan all along uh, this edge here but if you uh, you can see that it's not straight so I'll trim that out and I th I've had a change of plan at the front side here um, after reconsidering how this is going to weld back together, especially on up along this edge here, I'm actually going to cut this out here and then come down across. So basically take this whole piece off here and take out this chunk of the floor pan um, uh, that I've left in here. So that way I can butt the end of the floor pan flange up against here and I've got uh, this edge here that I can uh, attach to rather than trying to weld part way in. I'm going to leave uh, this as originally planned is to do this as a uh, flange and lap it and weld it that. I'll still do the plug welds from the top side down here. Uh, be plug welds from the top side along this edge and then I'll plug weld from this the bottom from the, the, the side that's facing us now um, along this side so I'll punch the edge of the floor pan where it goes along here uh, and put a new captive nut in for uh, the ground or the earth bolt and I think I'm just going to leave things uh, the same plan at uh, the back end here so I just think that's going to make it a lot easier to put things back together if I do it that way
I picked up a new tool Snull, to help me with the body work. It's a combination flange and hole punch tool. It does exactly what its uh, name says it does. Uh, one side of it will create a nice flange along there, which allows you to do some nice even lap joints. And then the hole punch, of course, punches holes. And I'll put a link in the description below to uh, a tool sim similar to this one. I picked this one up on sale at uh, Princess Auto here in Calgary. Well, I have this piece across the top all trimmed off now, and it's, as you can see, it's a lot straighter. I'll give it a clean up first with the flap disc. So I've got a couple of slots cut in here, here, and here. So the next step now that this is all cleaned up, and that is I'm going to take the uh, flange tool and go all the way along there. Now we have a nice flange all the way along the edge here. I'll just adjust the floor pan to notch down under here and just butt weld this part here. Um, but the idea is the floor pan will come up to this line here, or just short of it, and then that, that way it sits flush on the underside. And I'll stitch weld that all the way down there. So I've started marking out the floor pan where I'm going to cut it. So I'll be cutting, this is uh, the back, and you can see the holes that match up with the holes up there. I'll be cutting down to that line there. So this will go over top of the flange until I get to this spot here where I have to notch around uh, this part here. I can't cut this out because there's a another uh, bit welded in from the top side of that. So my floor pan will come across the top of the flange on either side and then I'll just uh, it'll just notch down and that will be butt welded uh, through here. That's what this little drop here is. Then we go all the way to the front and we'll cut up this line uh, out there. So that's that side measured out. This will be cut down here, straight across here, and then up and over past these two, and up and over. Here's the first fit of the panel. The fit over there is good. So I've got a nice uh, butt fit here. Once this gets pushed into place, I just uh, that'll just st stitch weld along there, butt weld, butt weld it there, and then we'll stitch it along here. Butt weld there and uh, weld up in there, and then this will end up getting plug welds through there. This little bit here will get cut out, but I'll do that later. And then the spring plate mounts in here. So I've now marked out uh, where I have to cut the pan to line up with cut here and that'll end up being a butt weld. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I am well inside that line so I don't cut off, uh, do my best not to cut off too much. Uh, you can see I've also marked down that's the width of the the main uh, floor reinforcing thing. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drill holes in the floor uh, here and here, along here and then do my uh, plug welds from this side from, from the bottom uh, along those two ribs so on those ribs I won't put any holes punch any holes in that that rib but in these two down here and this one across here and this one here those will have the uh, appropriate holes in them well, I'm quite happy with uh, how this is working out. The replacement panel is all trimmed and uh, re almost ready to go. I just have uh, a couple of spots, a spot up in here that needs a bit of uh, fettling and there's a spot just down, just down here as well. But other than that, um, I'm really happy with this uh, joint along here. Basically from here to here there's uh, it's not wide enough to put in uh, one of these butt weld clamps and uh, these were a tight squeeze so I'm actually very happy with that. So I'll just use some uh, magnets to sit across here to make sure they stay lined up. 
So I've got um, you know edges to clean up and that. So next step. So anyway, next steps. I'm going to pull this off, do the bit of uh, trimming that I need to do. Uh, it's just a tiny bit, just a with the flap disc. Uh, then I'll get started on cleaning up all the edges that are going to be welded, punching holes for where the plug welds are going to go, and uh, just generally get uh, ready to weld it on. Well, I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. Uh, my joints are all uh, going to work quite well. Everything's is lined up. So all my, I've got my plug welds going along here, butt weld. I've got my holes drilled along here so I can uh, plug weld those in there. And uh, yeah, all my joints are tight, except for this little bit at the back here. I'll just have to put a couple of a plate in there. Um, I've got some holes punched in both panels, so I'll plug weld a piece in there. Well, thanks for joining me in the garage this week. If you'll please uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And when you do, make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get notified when the next video will come out. Next video, we'll be welding in the floor and we'll get started on cleaning up the, uh, the driver's side. We'll see you next time.